Hey guys, I'm Leon and welcome back to another speed build. So it's been a while since I made one. In fact, this is the first one in February. So happy February. It's right in the middle of the month, almost. So yeah, how the time flies. Anyway guys, so here I am building a... Uh, it's either Willow Catalyst or Creek Catalyst. I'm not sure. It's probably gonna be Willow Catalyst because it's much easier to say Creek c c Catalyst. Yeah. It doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. So, uh, yeah, I'm back here building a house. Uh, it's a fairly big house, I would say. And, um, yeah, uh, the uh, the reason why I uh, was stumbling a lot, a lot on the name is because I don't have it yet. And that's one of the reasons why uh, the house is currently not available on the gallery to download. Yeah, uh, but, uh, but by the time I upload this video, it's probably gonna be online, so... There should be a link to the download link in the description down below. Link to the download link, uh, well, the download link should be in the description, so stay tuned for that. So here I am, uh, just fixing the room, I had some problems and I just did that and it worked. So uh, yeah, this is a three bedroom, one slash two bathrooms. If you include a two by two area, which has a toilet and a sink as a second bathroom or toilet room, then yeah, it counts as two bathrooms. So that's nice. Now, uh, the original idea for this house was to have two bedrooms and one bathroom, but the reason why everything changed is, you'll see later, oh no, I, oh, I think that's gonna be in part two. Anyway, I'm gonna say it right now, ha. Okay, so, the reason why, uh, there are three bedrooms in this house is because I had problems with roofing. Uh, the roof was just too flat and too big to work with. It was impossible to make a great roof. So I decided to chunk, chuck another house on top of it. So to kind of elevate the roof and it became easier to work with. And uh, yeah, that's fun. What's my favorite room of this house? Uh, from this house, I would say it's probably a living room. I really love their living room. You'll see it in a second. This big uh, two-story room you see right there in the corner. Yeah, that's the living room. Do we need to go any further? That It's just amazing. That's all, that's all I have to say. So, um, uh, yeah, just putting a little bit of things uh, in the exterior of the house. Now, uh, the reason why this is a two-part, two-two-two-parter is... Simply because uh, the, if I put uh, if I um, merge two parts together, it's gonna be a forty-minute long video, and uh, since I can barely uh, go through twenty minutes by talking, uh, it's uh, impossible for me to go even double the thing. So um, yeah, that's a problem. So you're gonna get a two-parter. Now this is, is this. Whoop. Just a second. Take a deep breath. And let it out. Okay, so the reason why uh, is this uploaded on Thursday and on Tuesday as it was planned is because I did record a commentary for it before, but I didn't like it. So I'm doing it again. And the second part won't be uploaded on Tuesday. It will be uploaded probably on uh, either Saturday or Friday. Friday or, or Saturday. Um, so I will inform you blah 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 blah, blah, blah. words and stuff. <laughs> I will inform you about that in on and in, on Twitter. So yeah, twitter.com slash direct Zion. If you don't already follow me, you should. So yeah, this is the living room. I love it. I love this gigantic windows there you see in the corner. Just just amazing. They're just amazing. So yeah, it's just it's just great. It's just great. So I still have to think of the name for the house, and uh, it's just bad. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Sims 4, what happened in the past month or so. The staff pack uh, got released, which was pretty sweet. It's the romantic garden stuff. I, Yeah, it's another staff pack. Again. <laughs> so yeah, uh, did I do I have it? I don't have it yet. I will be getting it probably tomorrow or if not then, uh, then after tomorrow. So yeah, but next week I'll have rom Romantic Garden stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna write a review about it. Because for those who don't know, I wrote a review of the movie Hangout stuff back and it was just 
horrible. I wrote it, okay? I didn't record it. You you could definitely tell that I was reading my review and I wasn't actually like saying it. Uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty bad review. I mean, this was my first review anyway, so yeah, maybe some props on that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, moving on. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think review is... Uh, well, I would love to write reviews, but I when I have to record a voiceover for them, it's just weird. Because uh, I have to read that and then I can't like act on it. I just... I can't. It's just... Nope. <laughs> so either I'm gonna write it and I have no idea where I'm gonna post this since I shut down my website. So I can't really post it anywhere. I could post it on Tumblr. That could work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I would actually post the review. But, um, yeah. It'll be worth a try. Probably not gonna relaunch my website just to write a review. Or to post it, rather. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. So, yeah, Romantic Garden stuff. It's a pretty nice stuff back. It really reminds me a lot on the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff. Uh, this is my that was my favorite stuff back in Sims 2 by the way just because it brought so many new objects for outdoors and I it was something that game was missing a lot before that stuff back and then it came and it was great and everybody was happy and yeah then Sims 3 came out and then outdoor outdoor living I was about to say outdoor retreat but that's not the stuff back it's a game pack because there's difference between, you know, it's a game. It, so game pack is sort of a mix of stuff pack and, and an expansion pack. But yeah, I don't. Also, if you heard that noise right now, that's my cat. So sorry about that. She's on my floor currently. So yeah, and she's just lazy. Lazy fat cat. Is that right? Psst, psst. Cat. Psst, psst. She's asleep. She's asleep. Anyway. So yeah, back where uh, where we were. Uh, yeah, I really love the stuff back, and uh, yeah, also I mm, it's another stuff back again because I, I just have a feeling. E Oops, sorry, I hit my microphone. I just have a feeling EA is pushing too much content for Sims Four right now. I know uh, like Sims Four was missing a couple of things at launch, and it was great when they updated it and and they brought some stuff back such as pools and everything and then uh, stuff back started to come out but i just i have a feeling they're pushing out too much stuff back at this point in time so uh game was released like a year and a half ago a bit more than that and uh, now uh there are already like six stuff packs for the game and there's like two expansion packs and two game packs Next week, there's probably gonna be another game pack release. Then week after that, a new stuff pack. And a week after that, a new stuff pack. Just too much stuff, okay? I know it's great. But I'm pretty sure EA hasn't learned from their mistakes. Because uh, they're pushing out too much content. Game will have a lot of content. And we all know what that means. Uh, Sims 3 has a lot of content. And it's really slow. So... I'm afraid the same thing will happen with Sims 4 if it has too much content because Sims 3, Sims 3 is a nice game but when you have all expansion packs and stuff packs installed and then some store content on the side the game becomes so <laughs> freaking slow I don't know how like my computer is the uh, Sims 3 runs so slow on my computer so I can't imagine how fast computer needs to be that Sims 3 will not lag at all. Like, it's not like your computer's fault or anything. It's pretty much Sims 3. It's pretty much the game. Because the game is from 2009. And it, uh, and it, it's just too slow to load all the content. The game itself is too slow to do anything. That's, like, just too much. So, um, yeah. And, yeah. And also, when I'm, like, in build mode in Sims 3... I didn't play it in a long time, I probably should. So, like, let's say I'm in build mode in Sims 3, the, the, the build mode would just start to lag out. I'm just, at that point in time, I'm just, like, wondering what's happening in the game code that it's so slow. 
Uh, it's just, the game was great at its time, but EA started to push too much. And then they didn't push too much, it's just that uh, it was already time for Sims 4 and they continued to release more and more DLCs for Sims 3 that at the end just the game was too slow to even load at all and uh, it just didn't really work out. So that's why today EA recommends to choose, to choose just a few expansion packs to uh, run at the time, at the same time, because uh, to improve your gaming experience, I guess. So yeah, things and stuff. Yeah, Sims Three was Sims Three was slow and glitchy. Yeah, it it was a it was a good game. It brought so much ma so many new features that Sims Three, uh, sorry, Sims Four, didn't have just time to continue, uh, such as the open world and creative style and uh, yeah, these really nice features. These two features were my favorites, but unfortunately, they did not make it to Sims Four. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's 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 a sad part right now. Yeah, Sims Four. It's a nice game. It's faster, definitely. It's much more smoother. And like, when I remember all of those awful memories I have from Sims Three, just that's so, so slow, laggy, glitchy, buggy. Uh, I I don't think there's any other word that could describe Sims Three. Uh, horrible, slow, um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> anyway, so here, this is my favorite part of the living room, this uh, fireplace area. I really love it, uh, because uh, you'll see I use the bb.move objects cheat for that, obviously to move shelves up and down. Uh, sh shelves, oh, what is going through my head? Bookshelves, sorry. And here I'll be adding them on and it will, at the end it will create a really nice sort of object, like a bookcase that's surrounding the fireplace and um, yeah, things and stuff. You can see they were glitching out a little bit so I did have to move them just a little bit, just so slightly that they don't overlap with each other. Uh, and it's barely noticeable, so if unless if you take a, a camera and zoom really into it, in, in which case, yeah, you can see it. Uh, so, yeah, also this top part of the shelf, it doesn't, shelf, yeah, it's a shelf. Also that top part doesn't really hide, because it is still on the second floor, so sorry if you have any problems with it, if it's gonna get in your way while playing the game. It's just something you have to deal with, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, this is the living room done. Just putting some wall or uh, rights. Yeah, putting some wall rights. Yeah, putting some wall lights here. I'm gonna be adding them. I finished adding them. There's a piano, and yes, I am aware that it runs directly into the kitchen door, but uh, that's well. Um, I don't think there's. Well, there is. Yeah, there is an, a second entrance to the kitchen by going to the dining room, which you can go to by going either from the kitchen or from the entrance. So, yeah, that's fun. This is the kitchen here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. This is the kitchen, period. I have nothing to say about the kitchen. I really love it. Uh, I just... This this corner there, this this diagonal wall, this was driving me insane. I just couldn't can't shut up. I'm trying to record a voice over here. Can you shut up? Thanks. But <laughs> just arguing with my cat. Anyway. So yeah, this was just giving me so much trouble. So I was trying to like make it not glitchy, and uh, at the end, I succeeded. Surprisingly, I succeeded at it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, doing that. And, um, what else? Oh, yeah, putting the top counters. You have top counters. Yeah, that makes tons of sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, putting the cabinets. Okay. Putting them all in there. Beautiful. And, yeah, tell me in the comments below if you guys got the new stuff back and what you think about it. I think it's pretty good, and um, yeah, things and stuff. I at this point in time, I'm already done with my commentary. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I don't know. Uh, 
yeah, Sims 3 is a glitchy game, but in some ways it's still better than Sims 4. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, yeah, there we go. Th that was a quick recap of what I said. And yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, I'm Leon and happy simming. Just kidding, I'm not leaving right, right now. Yeah, that'll be very... We would have a very awkward silence for like the three minutes. Three more minutes. So yeah, putting the... Ooh, this is hard to say. Putting the stove on the island. Because I, I don't know, I used to always put a sink there. But since I can't put a sink in between the cabinets, like in the middle. If there are like two cabinets... Uh, no, I'm saying cabinet. If there are two counters, for God's sake. And also, ignore these lights. Uh, This kitchen had some lighting glitches. So it didn't light up properly. So I was just testing out the lights and see how how many lights do I need to light it up. And this entire wall of lights was, I think, just enough. So there we go. The more you know. So yeah, I, so I put the stove there instead. I, at the first, it looks really nice. Uh, and... And uh, yeah, there is just the perfect corner for the trash can. Oh my god, you can't shut up. Can you shut up? Psst, psst. Can you shut up? Thanks. Okay. Moving on. So yeah, this is the kitchen. And you'll notice that the main um, color here in the house is orange. I don't know, I kind of like orange. It's, no, it's nice. It's energetic. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I was trying to put curtains in, and it, uh, none of them wouldn't. None of them would fit. It was just a really big problem. So, if EA wants to release so many new stuff packs for Sims Four, I have an idea for one stuff pack. Just bring curtains in the game, okay? Just bring some more curtains, more modern curtains, please. You have so much stuff, but curtains, yeah. Let's not even mention those. Like everything is great, but curtains. Like I just. For this house, I couldn't find any curtains that could match it. It's just so horrible. We need to have some sort of like modern curtains. I just, they don't, just, just add them in. Okay, I don't care. Just add them in. Just add them in. That would be, that could be my custom content that I could create. Yeah. Also, yeah, uh, I have some news about that. I am officially a Sims 4 custom content creator now which is great and not by homes and stuff i mean by actual items you put in those homes so i am doing a cut cat shut up shut up shut up okay uh, so uh, yeah i'm uh, yeah my first set i guess my first object set would will probably come out uh, i'm hoping by next week if not, then probably in two weeks. Because I never did like 3D, I mean, I did 3D modeling before. But I, it was so long ago that I forgot everything about it. So, yeah, I have to relearn re uh, the 3D modeling in Maya. And um, then I'll be good to go too. Uh, it's probably going to be some sort of a picture set, uh, painting set. Because these are very easy to do. Not, I won't change uh, textures or anything, just like reapply textures to it, the uh, mesh. I won't do that. I want to create my own painting objects and uh, yeah, I tried to create it, but uh, I had some troubles texturing it and uh, it didn't really work. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna, that's for what I'm gonna take my weekend for. I'm gonna take it to learn a little bit more about modeling and um, texturing and the 3D object and it's hopefully by the end of two weeks my set will be available to download. On uh, The Sims Workshop, if you don't already know that website, it launched recently. It's about uh, custom content and uh, it's just custom content and uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll be back with part two. Hopefully, this commentary will... Hopefully, the next commentary will be better. And, uh, yeah, you can also... Don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash The Liam Bakovic Show. On Twitter, Twitter.com slash Direct And don't forget to click the beautiful subscribe button below and like this video if you liked it. And, um... 
yeah, I have to learn to stop doing my outros too soon. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, I'm Leon. And remember, happy simming.